नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज जेवी एंड डॉक्टर नीरज होलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ सेशन और अ टॉपिक दैट इज मॉलिक्यूलर मार्कर्स और वी कैन से इट द जेनेटिक मार्कर्स और डीएनए मार्कर्स सो ऑल आर द सेम थिंग्स सो व्हाट इज द नीड ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूलर मार्कर्स सो बेसिकली Uh, there are conventionally uh, a linkage map is used to map the genes uh, on the chromosome but uh, with the uh, linkage map there are many problems which are associated like the linkage map uh, is produced uh, based on the uh, genes which produce the distinct morphological effects and uh, such genes are very less or we can say that the genes which have the morphological effects are very less so it is very difficult to map the whole uh, genome or the correct uh, map likewise there are map, uh, the making mapping is a tedious and time taking process using the uh, conventional linkage maps so uh, there is a need of uh, something uh, molecular markers which uh, uh, differences among strains at the molecular level such as the proteins dna uh, etc so there are uh, many types of molecular markers are used and broadly they are uh, categorized either pcr based like the uh, rapd af lp and ssr and the non pcr base like the restriction fragment length polymorphism so uh, in the restriction fragment length polymorphism uh, single restriction enzyme produces uh, fragments of different lengths uh, from the same stage of genome dna of uh, different strains of a species or from different related species so uh, rl uh, for to conduct uh, the rflp uh, we have to uh, proceed uh, the experiment uh, step by step first of all uh, we have to isolate the dna uh, from different species then uh, uh, the dna are uh, digested with the help of the uh, selected restriction endonucleases so uh, uh, the selected endonucleases if the strains are different or the species are different they will give different patterns on uh, the digestion the fragments is uh, these digest are separated then through the electrophoresis and the the resulting gel lens are uh, transferred to the uh, support solid support like the nitrocellulose membrane or or other uh pvdf membrane and uh, then uh, radio label appropriate uh, uh, with the dna probe under the conditions favoring the uh, dna dna hybridization so the free probes uh, are removed by the washing step uh, so that it will not cause uh, the background and the excess of the probes will be removed from uh, there when the fragments uh, to which the probe has hybridized are detected by uh, um, x ray radiography or other detection techniques so the pattern of the rflp generated will uh, will depend on many things like uh, differences in the dna of, of selected strain species uh, which uh, restriction and endonucleases you are selecting and the the dna probe employed for the uh, hybridization steps so detectable rflp are generated due to the uh, uh, changes in the dna of the organism the changes uh, in the base sequences of recognition site of the restriction enzyme used uh, relatively large deletion and uh, relatively large addition in in the concerned stage of genomic dna a very large number of restriction enzymes are now available uh, to perform uh, the uh, rflp experiments okay so uh, next is the 
marker are the micro satellites micro satellites are also uh, can also behave as a marker so the micro satellite term in term is given by the jeffrey et al in 1985 and micro satellite primers are short random repeats strs or simple sequence repeats ssr which consist of one to six base pair long sequences that are repeated several times so the number of uh, repeats for the micro satellites is usually less than 100 the length variation of for ssr is based on the differences in the number of repeats so amplifying the tandem array and then visualizing them on a gel can detect variation in the dna length micro satellite primers are mainly designed directly from uh, the uh, searching uh, searching through the dna sequence database for sequences containing the simple repeats so the hybridization and uh, sequencing are required for uh, generating suitable microsatellite primers to study the mapping and linkage analysis in animals and plants hybridization using simple repeats as, uh, as probes to skin the genomic clones can be used to identify the microsatellites the the flanking sequences can be obtained by sequencing the clone of fragments containing the microsatellites once the microsatellite markers are uh, found the utility of the markers is high so dna sequences uh, flanking ssrs are known to be conserved in the same manner as those flanking uh, mini satellites these uh, unique sequences have been used uh, for designing the suitable primers uh, which are uh, polymorphic and specific for the ssr local when such type of primer pairs are used to amplify uh, they will uh, reveal poly uh, polymorphism in the form of the length variation of the amplified product so this polymorphism is based on the differences in repeats of simple sequences polymorphism revealed the ssr is also termed as the simple sequence length polymorphism or sslp uh, further these uh, micro satellite markers use long pcr primers which are specific to a single genetic locus they are co-dominant and most importantly they are multi allelic and uh, detect a much higher level of dna polymerization than any other marker system such simple sequence length polymorphism occur uh, very frequently in the genome and have proven uh, to be extremely useful as dna markers these properties make microsatellite primers a rich source for dna markers which provide specific tools for collaborative research acting as universal uh, genetic mapping markers then uh, inter simple sequence repeat markers issr and uh, the isi primer based on the microsatellite are utilized to amplify inter ssr uh, dna sequences it is a simple and quick method that combines most of the advantages of the ssr and amplified polymorphic dna rapd issr uh, markers are mostly dominant in nature and behave like a rapd marker so occasionally a few of them exhibit codominance ISSR primers can be used variously because they can be synthesized in large number of combinations of di, tri, tetra, and penta nucleotides. Cleaved amplified polymorphic sequences (CAPS) markers technique is based on digestion of the monomorphic PCR product to generate uh, polymorphism. Such digestion probes um, are compared for for their differential migration during the electrophoresis. So CAPS primers can be synthesized based on uh, the available sequence information from the data bank of the genomic or cDNA sequence or cloned RAPD bands. So these markers are co-dominant in nature and this technique is similar uh, to RFLP and known as the PCR RFLP. Then uh, next marker is the EST or expressed sequence tags. So uh, the EST markers are obtained by partially sequencing of random cDNA clones 
EST markers, which are synthesized from cDNA sequences, are valuable source for molecular markers and presently being used extensively. Uh, EST analysis is a simple and quick strategy to study the transcribed parts of the various genomics. So there are a, a number of advantages using express genes compared with uh, anonymous sequences as genetic markers. Uh, they are useful in cloning of specific genes of interest and mapping of functional genes in various uh, related organisms. EST are mainly used in full genome sequencing and identifying active uh, genes which are associated with a trait of interest. And therefore, EST uh, uh, derived markers can provide opportunities for finding a unique gene and they can enhance the role of genetic markers by assessing uh, variation in the transcribed and uh, non-function genes. So EST derived markers are more highly conserved and more transferable between the species and several genetic maps of different plant systems were constructed by using the EST derived markers. So recently EST derived markers based genetic map was developed by the uh, Fondvela et al. 2008 in P. So EST SSR markers are also providing uh, highly useful in mapping of express genes and map making. So this was all about the uh, molecular markers. I hope you are uh, uh, hope you are satisfied with this tutorial session. If you have any query, uh, you can write in the comment box. And this session is powered by Digital Version Two, Jyoti Vidyapeet, Women's University, Jaipur. Thank you.